Page 1087, looking at page 32, and uh, this is going just a little bit further. And again, the intimidating thing is that we have fractions in here. Let me just start two of these problems for you and uh, point out a, a couple slight differences and uh, see if you can then take it from there and solve them, all right? Remember, we're going to draw the line through the equals to divide it into the two halves. And we're going to bring the three and a half over to the other side. So we end up with two thirds x equals, and I'm going to add three and a half to the two and a fourth. But remember, you have to get a common denominator. So the half would be two fourths, okay? And now I can add and get five and three fourths. Now, whenever you're doing problems like this that have a mixed number, the key is you've got to convert the mixed number into an improper fraction. Remember how to do that? Multiply the denominator times the number out front. So we'd get 20, add the numerator. So 23 over 4. So I'm going to rewrite it down here as 23 over 4, okay? And then bring down a 2 thirds x. Then, remember what I, the tip I gave you in the last video, is whatever fraction is in front of the variable, you multiply by the reciprocal. Because what's 2 thirds times 3 over 2? It would be 6 over 6, which is 1. Or you can see that the 3's will cancel and then the 2's will cancel. So x equals, and I've got to do the same thing over here, 3 over 2, okay? Now you can finish the problem, okay? So first, bring this over, add them, get a common denominator. Whenever you're adding fractions, you have to have a common denominator. Then turn it into a mixed, num not from a mixed number, into an improper fraction. And then we can multiply by the reciprocal of this fraction. Let's look at this other problem that's on the page. And again, we'll start off in a similar way. We'll draw a line. We're going to add 3 and 1 third to both sides. So that'll cancel. Or you can just, the pace I think just says move it over and it changes to the opposite sign. So it goes from being negative to positive. All right. So this easily becomes 10 and a third. You can see 7 plus 3 is 10, 10 and a third. And we have 1 and 1 fourth x. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. And we just have to remember to turn the mixed numbers into improper fractions. So we have two improper fractions. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. <coughs> 5 fourths x equals 3 times 10 is 30, plus 1, 31 over 3. All right, are you with me? And then the last step is to multiply by the reciprocal of the one that's in front of x. So multiply by 4 fifths, do the same thing, 4 fifths on the other side, all right? Again, these are right from your, from your homework, so I am not going to finish them for you. I want you to set them up, show your work, finish the problem, all right? And uh, hopefully that will give you enough help to uh, be able to finish page 32. And then, page 33 and 34, you are at a checkup. Uh, look over those problems before you start the checkup and make sure you know uh, you've reviewed the procedures and know what you're doing. All right. And then we definitely need to start talking on page 35. See you then.